If you've watched Virtus Pro Attack Consulate over the past two stages of EUL, you'll quickly realize that they love doing so by initially taking control of admin. Though they don't always attack this way, they seem to do so more often than not for almost every bombsite on the map, and especially so for the top floor bombsite. Now, we can have a long debate whether the top floor bombsite is a good one, and it leads to me saying no. But regardless, Tempra in their major game just a few days ago elected to defend this site against Virtus Pro twice. The first go around, they stuck to a fairly default setup that you'll see across all regions and even in high elo ranked, but the second time around, they pulled out a strat which seemed aimed directly at countering VP's standard heavy admin push. And as usual with Tempra, when you see them bring Castle, you can place your bets on it being a spicy one. Let's look at a blueprint to see an overview, and then jump into game to see some specifics and how it's meant to play out. As for operator lineup, we have Smoke, Goyo, and Castle upstairs, Jaeger rotating between the two floors and dealing with any fast CO push, and Mozzie, who is not on the blueprint, but is roaming below, threatening to flank up Visa stairs, C4 attackers in admin, or CO. The reinforcements look like this. With a mix of rotation and line of sight holes in these positions. Castle barricades on printer door, CO double door, and connector door, Lastly, we have Smoke Shield at the beginning of Long Desk with two ADS protecting it, Goyo Shields in Printer and Front Office, which are pretty easily dealt with, but ultimately are just there to slow the attack down. The final ADS goes in Meeting to protect Castle from being needed from Suicide Valk. So let's first address the oddities of this setup. First is opening this third panel of Meeting Wall, which is generally reinforced. The benefit of this is it grants a connector player a line of sight towards Printer, this becomes even better once we reinforce this connector wall, which is generally opened up, as the player sat in here no longer needs to worry about CO repel. Opening this meeting wall also allows Castle playing in meeting to contribute to the same push. And coupling this with a castle on printer door and holes on the printer wall make it so that attackers walking through printer are extremely uncomfortable. And a player repelling into printer window does so straight into castle's line of sight. The obvious weakness of opening this meeting wall is that the smoke bogged down in this corner doesn't have a whole lot of space to move without getting punished from Suicide Balcony. But, when in this kind of position, your presence is what's really important. Just sitting here, wasting time, occasionally peeking and using your canisters, is more than enough to do your job. And, on a rare occasion like this one, you can still manage to get away with your life. Obviously, this kind of hold is really susceptible to a yellow or CO take, and considering that most teams seem to consider this the best method for taking the top floor site, this obviously can't be played as a default. Tempra do dedicate some utility towards defending this with a bulletproof in CO, holes along yellow wall, and the threat of C4 from below, but if attackers really want to go for this style of execute and are coordinating in doing so, it's pretty much mate for the defense. This is partially why the top floor is really falling out of favor for most teams. Regardless, I thought this was a cool idea from Tempra in order to counter VP's admin take, and given that the Major just finished up, I figured I'd share it with you.